Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. Technics ventured into the wireless earbuds category to go after the big dogs in the race. Think of the likes of Sony Bose and Sennheiser on sound quality, as well as the best you can find on design and functionality. It's a combination that comes at a price, but if done right, it gets easier to justify spending. That's the case Technics makes with its EAHC 6 earbuds. Its newest pair aims to take what the company has done in the past and make it even better. The results are easy to like and are significant enough to consider them as serious contenders. At a glance, Technics EAHA Z60. Bottom line, Technics didn't just do one thing right with the EAHA Z60. It covered almost the whole gamut of what makes wireless earbuds feel and sound exceptional. As a result, the performance pairs nicely with an excellent fit creating a fierce combination that competes with the best. The good, the bad. Technics EAHA Z60, price and availability. Technics launched the EAHA Z60 in September 2021, making them available for $229.99. Since then, the earbuds saw a modest price drop, though it's temporary, and could return to the original price in due time. They're also not as widely available as others, but supply seems fine at retailers that carry them. They also come in black and silver variants. Pac-Man 1 Plus Nord 2 Hands-On. One Plus New Limited Edition Nord 2 comes with a glow-in-the-dark back, 8-bit inspired themes and a unique stand in the box. Check out our first look at the One Plus Nord 2 Pac-Man Limited Edition. 0 seconds of 55 seconds volume 0%. VPN deals, lifetime license for $16, monthly plans at $1. Sponsored links. Sucks the new BMW X11 New Rab Lab i10 Pi for iGo Pro HERO 10. BMW Thailand, Rab KX NX, Technics EAHA Z60, what's good? Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. I hadn't tested Technics earbuds before, but I knew of previous models, like last year's EAHA Z70. Those are bigger than the AZ60 in both butt and case. Size by shaving them down, one would assume Technics cut corners on features, but that's not true. The earbuds are on par with others like them regarding size and fit while the case is very pocketable. It helps that there are no less than seven sets of ear tips in the box, all but ensuring you find something that nestles into your ears properly. The reduced circumference in the buds themselves plays a pivotal role because it moves more of the way to the inner ear concha, so they don't ever feel like they're precariously in place. This pays off in a big way for audio performance because you don't have to fiddle as much to find the best fit for you. The results are actually stunning. The 8mm drivers are part of an architecture inside each earbud that helps produce their clean and vibrant sound, and by default, it's hard not to like how crisp everything is. Technics engineered the EAHA Z60 to push the mids and highs more than the lows, though you still hear solid bass response from the outset. The results are actually kind of stunning. While it's not out of the ordinary to expect that from other brands known for audio fidelity, it's nice to see it. Coming from a source not everyone may be familiar with. The EAHA Z60 also supports Sony's Zelda codec for high-res audio from sources playing music of that quality. To test this, I played tracks from Tidal Hi-Fi, and while there is a slight difference in clarity, I am not sure everyone will find the contrast with other sources all that perceptible. For me, the most noticeable difference off the bat is that I don't have to raise the volume as much with a high-res track as I would say playing the same one on Spotify. It's just a bummer Technics didn't include aptX codecs to go with this audio package. Having AAC caters to iOS users but aptX is a solid alternative for Android users, and it's a shame it missed the opportunity to offer that here. At the very least, you can use Technics app to adjust the EQ and tune the sound the way you'd like it. One of the four presets is best, though I found Dynamic was better. In the end, I created my own preset with minor adjustments from the default curve which I considered a nod to how good these are out of the box. Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central so is the active noise cancellation, ANC. I wasn't sure what to expect in drowning out the background, but the surprises kept coming, as these are almost as good as the Sony WF-1000XM4 and Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds in that respect. Sounds that would seep in with other earbuds were either severely muffled or never broke through. Like ambient mode, you can adjust the effects intensity based on your preferences by going through the settings in the app. Technics also placed an onus on phone calls by equipping each earbud with four microphones. Most earbuds have three, or even two, so four is unusual, but the extra one is there to amplify voices once it hears you talking. To enable its full scope, you have to set up the Just My Voice feature within the app. I tried it, and while it works well enough, I didn't speak with anyone who noticed a huge difference. Call quality is already excellent, so no complaints there, though I would say that the Jabra Elite 7 Pro are still the best for that. Technics also took the step of offering hands-free access to Alexa. Set it up, and you can. Raise Amazon's voice assistant by merely saying the wake word. 
Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. Touch controls are often finicky on earbuds but yet again, the EAHAZ60 come through with surprising efficiency. Single, double, and triple taps worked. Like magic almost every time. The larger surface area on the outer edge is probably one reason why it reduces false positives. However, it's equally evident the company put some thought into doing it right. Multipoint connections are also welcome, letting you connect to two devices simultaneously. Pair the EAHAZ60 with two phones personal and work or with a phone and computer tablet and you can always take a call when it comes in. The Bluetooth 5.2 connection was solid for me, rarely, if ever, showing any audible hiccup along the way. Battery life fares decently well with all this stuff going on. I got close to 7 hours with ANC on listening to music in AAC or SBC. However, if I was listening to high-res LDAC tracks, that number whittled down to as low as 4 hours. The case has at least two extra charges in it, including fast charging via USB-C, where plugging in for 15 minutes can get you a solid hour of playback. Technic CAHAZ60, what's not good? Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. When you do so much right, errors and omissions only become more glaring. A puzzling one here is the lack of auto-pause on the EAHAZ60. Take off either, earbud, and the audio doesn't pause, a feature that's a staple in so many other pairs nowadays. True, the onboard touch controls are effective, but it's an odd choice to leave out a sensor that could enable such a convenient feature. The same goes for the lack of wireless charging on the case. Technics did work to shave off a fair bit of size to this case to make it more portable, but at the cost of including yet another convenient feature. Its absence is more apparent when you routinely listen to high-res audio because of how much faster the earbuds run out of juice that way. I had to remind myself that I needed a cable handy, even though a wireless charging pad is sent far away in my place. Take off either earbud and the audio doesn't pause, a feature that's a staple in so many other pairs nowadays. I mentioned the lack of aptX support earlier, and it stands out to me only because it would have opened other doors for these earbuds. For example, aptX. Adaptive would theoretically give these the low latency necessary for gaming or watching movies and shows. But, of course, you can still do those things. Just not with an adaptive response time to sync up audio and video more precisely. And if you are thinking of wearing the EAHAZ60 for runs or workouts, the IPX4 rating won't give you a whole lot of durability. You can get away with it but, when you're paying more for something this good, be sure to take care of them by wiping them clean afterward every time. Technics EAHAZ60 Competition Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. The Technics EAHAZ60 are good enough to earn a spot among the best wireless earbuds, putting them in elite company. And they get there for more than one reason, which is what is truly surprising. The sound quality is fantastic, as is the ANC in overall design and functionality. For those reasons, there are only a select few alternatives. The Sony WF1000XM4 match Technics earbuds in every facet, surpassing them in ANC performance, and including features like auto pause, wireless charging, and hands free access to both Alexa and Google Assistant. The EAHAZ60 hold an edge in fit and comfort, but otherwise, Sony's pair are hard to beat. The same is true of the Jabra Elite 7 Pro, which are arguably more comfortable, offer better phone call clarity, and are considerably more durable for Activos cases. Finally, the Zennheiser CX Plus True Wireless are a compelling alternative when you want to spend less and have aptX adaptive support. Unfortunately, they just won't fit as nicely as Technics pair will. Technics EAHAZ60, should you buy it? Source Ted Kritzoni's Android Central. You should buy this if. You shouldn't buy this if. Technics released a real winner here. The EAHAZ60 are easily one of the best pairs of earbuds I've tested in 2021, and what makes them all the more impressive is their very performative merits. It's not just the sound, it's also the design, ancillary features, customization, and extensive settings options that make them worth the price tag. If they had the few things they're missing, it would be hard not to crown them with the top spot. 4.5 out of 5. Technics also appears keen to support these earbuds with firmware updates. I got two of them while testing out the EAHAZ60, suggesting that periodic improvements may only serve to make these earbuds even better. Technics EAHAZ60. Fabulous features. With how good these earbuds sound, Technics makes it clear you shouldn't underestimate the EAHAZ60. Excellent design leads to a comfy fit while solid app. Support opens the gates to a slew of customizations and settings that make these even better as a solid audio package. We may earn a commission for purchases using our links. Learn more. Patience is a virtue. Every PS5 video game delay in 2021 and their upcoming release dates. Throughout 2020, many high-profile games were delayed due to COVID-19. And the games industry saw that trend continue well into 2021. But unfortunately, as we 
Enter fall, expect a lot more delays. So we compiled a list of every game delayed or bumped into 2022. Here's what you can expect. Worth it. Prices are going up for Hulu Live TV subscriptions but it's not all bad. Hulu Live TV subscriptions are increasing in price in December as Disney continues to push customers towards the Disney bundle. About time, Google finally gives the Play Store website some love with a new look. The Google Play Store website has been spotted with a new design that features a more modern look and feel, with filters for easy app searches. Listen to your wrist. The best wireless earbuds for Samsung smartwatches are right here. Samsung's smartwatches are great for staying on top of notifications and keeping track of your fitness and they pair perfectly with Bluetooth headphones for music streaming and podcasts.